damaged. Because I think it damaged me for the rest of my life. Damaged. I have no idea. Yeah, I, I, I guess I stood out like a sore thumb. Do you have that expression? Standing out like a sore thumb. Yeah. A six foot guy dressed as a cat. I mean, come on. It's, it's as ridiculous as a six foot two guy playing a dwarf. Let's face it. That's good damage. So, yeah. Vague damage. Yeah. It was, it was a long time ago in my memory. I, and I can't find myself in the film. Yeah. Other people seem to have found me. I, yeah. I, other people have. I, I mean, I, they, some people think I'm a fighter. But I don't. I, I, uh, I did have a costume, and then I. Uh, so I'm, I'm in one scene, but I, I can't find the scene in the movie. Extreme damage. There was one. Uh, there was one day when we were shooting because we shot that barrel sequence over a number of days. And of course, there's one day when we have to get out of the barrels and we're in a real river and we're wearing the costume with the fat suit and it gets soaked with water, so it's very heavy. And, I'm, and we're sort of acting away like how tired and bedraggled we are. And I'm kind of walking back to the shore and Peter Jackson's sh shouting, more, more, make it, make it very dramatic. And then all of a sudden I step forward and there's nothing underneath me and I get sucked under the water. And uh, I've, they'd called cut by that point and all the other dwarves are kind of making their way to the shore and I'm thinking hang on I'm, I'm underwater here I can't get out and I'm sort of trying to get my head above the water and then I think one of the stunt guys realized that I was in a bit of difficulty and he, he came and dragged me out but I uh, as somebody that doesn't like to make too much of a fuss I didn't I didn't really say guys I think I just nearly drowned then <laughs> again so yeah no damn yeah, completely. That's that's uh, that's good damage. I, I remember on the Hobbit, I had one dream early on about Graham McTavish, who played uh, Dwalin. Um, we were we were entering this kind of very strange pyramid and kind of going down these tunnels, and I I couldn't find him. And his wife uh, in real life was there with me in the tunnels, and. We hadn't got to the point where the dwarves entered the mountain. It was way off. It was like months and months and months away. But I had this like weird premonition. And then when we went to shoot the scene and we uh, opened the door, there's, and there's, there's this kind of green tunnel with a corner that turned. I, I, I was like, I saw this in my dream. This is exactly how it was in, in my dream. Weird. Yeah. <laughs>